like to let my audience know that I have the charming and the talented and uh, SAG Award nominated Patrick J. Adams, and you know him on Suits. Patrick, thanks and welcome to the Velder Beebe Show. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm excited to talk with you because I watched the very first episodes of Suits. So I'm oh, gonna really? say I'm your longest running fan. You're original. You're an original <laughs> fan. I'm an original fan. And it's still doing extremely well. You're in season four, from what I understand. We are. We're just finishing off season four. We took a little break, and now we're coming back to do the last six episodes of the season. Okay, what are we going to find in the last six episodes? What, what keeps bringing us back? Because we keep coming back. Well, right now, we, uh, we ended the season before with uh, Lewis Litt um, being the last character really on the show to find out the secret that has sort of driven the show forward for the last four seasons, which, of course, is that Mike Ross is a uh, fraudulent lawyer who never went to law school. Um, and he's obviously the most dangerous character to have this information. So in these last six episodes, we're really dealing with the consequences of having him find out and seeing how he plans to use that to his, uh, to his own benefit and how that tests everybody in the office. Okay, let's stop and let's just take a brief moment of the little time we have together. Because, uh, like I said, I know the storyline from the beginning. Mm -hmm. How do you think it is to live with a lie? And that's what this is. This is mm -hmm. We can call it what we want. We can gloss it over. But how do you think it is to live with a lie and always afraid to be uncovered? Because this is what your character does. You know, I think it's the crux of the drama, and, I, and for me, you know, it's, it's, it's a terrifying prospect. Obviously, his reasons for doing it from the beginning were always pretty good. I think Mike's heart is in the right place, and that's why the audience, I think, over the years has forgiven him for what, he, for what he's done, because they know he, he wants to do good. But the truth is, is that there's no real easy way out of this. And with every person that finds out the secret, he's kind of pushed further, further into a corner. And not just a corner where he's going to hurt himself or his own life, but now he's going to really hurt the people who he's grown to love and respect over the last you know, three years of the show. So it's a difficult circumstance, and, and it's not made any easier by having someone like Lewis Litt have the information. Well, I think we can identify because maybe within us there is that secret. I yeah. really believe it. Because it, 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 Seuss is very real to me from how the lawyers are, from how the characters are. So you guys are kind of life imitating art and art imitating life. I think that's a big part of your success. Yeah, I agree. I think people can, I think we all can relate to some degree as to holding something inside of ourselves that we're scared to admit to either ourselves or the people around us. And I think there's a, there's a reason why that's so common in television, the, the character with a deep, dark secret. Okay. So now they said most recently you start in a television miniseries. Mm-hmm. Rosemary's Baby. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Alongside Zoe Saldana. Yeah, it was great. Okay. Well, that's an oldie but a goodie in a sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, the original film is incredible, and, and getting the opportunity to work with Zoe was a uh, dream come true. So we had fun. I got to live in Paris for three months. It could be worse. That's not bad. That's not a bad, you know, side effect of working really hard. And you are working real hard. You've got a lot of different things going on. Are you also a photographer or take pictures? That's right. Uh, I'm actually here in New York right now with one of my first gallery shows uh, of pictures I've taken behind the scenes of suits over the last four years. So um, that is a whole other aspect of my life that finally is sort of starting to take some shape. Well, we're going to call you a renaissance man. How about that? I'll take it. I'll <laughs> let you do that. Yeah, that's, a, that's a great title. Let me ask you, with the, with the second half of suits coming up to end the season, uh, I know we're going to have some different things. What's, going to, what's the biggest thing to watch for? I know you can't give away the secrets, but what do we need to be watching for? Because I love a, a, a secret unfolding. I would say that a big thing to watch out for is the relationships between some of the men and the women on this show. Um, I just think a lot of them are going to take a, some some leaps forward in the uh, in the next few episodes, and uh, people are going to have to. They're going to be put in decisions. They're going to be put in positions where they're going to have to make decisions one way or the other. And uh, I think some people have really been waiting for that to happen between all of the interpersonal relationships on the show. That and as well, Gabriel and I both directed an episode for the first time in these in these back six. So I think for fans of the show, that's going to be fun to, to see us step behind the camera for episodes. Well, you are Renaissance Nancy, but I said you're just doing it all. 
But I know sometimes you have to catch that window, and it seems like your window is open, Patrick Adams. Well, I want thank to thank you. you for talking to us. Tell us when you want us to watch Suits and where, what network? It's on uh, January 28th on USA at 10 p.m. We're coming back and uh, running for six weeks, and we're so excited to have everybody tune in. Well, I think you've got me and my audience already hooked, so don't worry about that. Just try to find other new fans because we're there for you. Thank you so much, Valder. It was great to talk to you. Thank you for being on the Valder BB Show. It's been my pleasure. Bye. Harvey, you don't get to come to me at all hours of the night anymore. I'm here because your new boss... I know why you're here. Then you know what he did, and I need you to admit it so I can block their bullshit vote. Lucky. Lucky. I hear you're interviewing replacements this morning. I am? Exactly. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. This whole thing started because he wanted to prove to you that he had your back because he thought you were jealous of us. Why would you do that? I want the chance to back him publicly. No. This whole thing started... Because I told him that I've been paying your salary. I think it was enough, so I paid her more. And again, and again, and again. And he was too cheap to pay it himself. And too weak to tell you the truth. So you mean? You're jealous. I can get 45%. Well, then the reason you can wait is that I'm going to get you the difference. He wouldn't be in this mess if you'd have just stopped him from doing this in the first place. What the hell is that, said? Then I would have told him to his face not to. Bullshit. You're only following through on it because you're a cheap son of a bitch. This isn't me taking Harvey's side. This is me stopping you from making a huge mistake. You are taking it down. You're out of here. And it needs to stop. By the way, where's Donna? She moved on. Donna. I don't know Donna. Either. What the hell happened? Nothing happened. It's time for a change. I said some things that I wish I could take back, but we've been friends with each other for a long time, and uh, I don't want to throw that away. So I've had enough of you telling me I'm jealous. Yeah, you know what? That's enough. Can you come at me flinging accusations? Well, you better have proof. You have proof, Harvey? Yeah, Yesterday, he accused me of being jealous. Today, he's coming after my money. This is confidential. He went ahead and did it anyway, then I'm not gonna go behind his back to fix it. He did the same thing, you wouldn't be stopping him. Harvey would never do anything like this. Not Shut up. We both know Donna going to work for you it has nothing to do with you. You got luck. Because you always said, once you pick a side, if you're not loyal to that side, then who the hell are you? You work for me. You knew who I was when you did, so now it's time for you to decide. Are you with me or not? Thought of that before you pick someone who would do something like this in the first place. And if you kept that from me for 12 years and you're only just telling me now, then maybe you are jealous. You assaulted a named partner. He got what he deserved. Next Wednesday. We may have a problem. It's lit. I'm suing your favorite son, Harvey, for assault and battery. Versus... I'm done working for you. Spectre. Son of a bitch. I should take you outside right what, now. What, and hit me again? You'll be gone! Suits. All new next Wednesday at 9 on US. प्यारी लग रही है ब्लू कलर में कहा से लिया ये डिजाइनर ड्रेस थैंक यू करीना वैसे तुम भी बहुत गॉर्जस लग रही हो मैंने एक क्राफ्टॉम से लिया दिस इज स्टाइलिश गाउन विद पैंट आउटफिट इसका कलर देखो रॉयल ब्लू कलर कितना अच्छा लुक देता है एंड लुक एट द एम्ब्रॉयडरी दिस इज सो प्रिटी हाथों पे और ये नेक पे डिजाइन कितना प्यारा लग रहा है एंड द बॉर्डर इज सो प्रिटी ये गोल्डन बॉर्डर ऑन ब्लू कलर बहुत प्यारा लग रहा है ये लहंगे का आपको फील देता है लेकिन इट इज अ सलवार सूट सो इट इज़ वेरी कम्फर्टेबल और इसके पैंट्स की एम्ब्रॉयडरी देखो कितनी प्यारी है ना और फॉल देखो इसका बॉर्डर इतना रिच और इन्हांस लुक दे रहा है इसको जब मैंने इसे साइड पे देखा ना मुझे तो लगा कि मेरे को ये खरीदना ही है तो मैंने ऑर्डर कर दिया झट से एंड वैसे ये तुम्हारा अनारकली भी बहुत प्यारा लग रहा है है ना एकदम प्यारा सा ड्रेस इसे एक्ट्रेस कृति सनन ने पहना था क्राफ्ट विला डॉट कॉम पे जहाँ से मैंने ये ड्रेस खरीदा आई I मीन mean, ये सेमी स्टिच था सो so इसकी फिटिंग देखो मैं कस्टमाइज कर सकती थी जैसा मुझे चाहिए एंड ये तो देखो हाथ पे एम्ब्रॉयडरी का वर्क है कंप्लीट यहाँ गोल्ड है यहाँ ब्लू है 
वाइट पे और उठकर आ रहा है उसका गेटअप सो कम्प्लीटली हाफ एम्ब्रॉयडरी है एंड प्लेट्स है यहाँ पर और इतना ब्यूटिफुल है शिफोन मटीरियल है इसका फ्रिल तो देखो कितना प्यारा है एंड बैक पे भी एम्ब्रॉयडरी है देखो तो जरा ब्लू में गोल्ड का कॉम्बिनेशन व्हाइट पे कितना प्यारा लग रहा है प्रिटी एंड देन शिफोन है तो काफ़ी लाइट है ये ड्रेस बहुत ही बिल्कुल रिच लगता है बट बिल्कुल भी हैवी नहीं है क्योंकि आप बहुत थक जाते हो ना हैवी ड्रेसेस पहन के वेडिंग्स में एंड एवरी थिंग एंड टू कम्प्लीट द लुक मैंने ये झुमकास खरीदे क्राफ्टिला डॉट कॉम से सो प्रिटी दोनों चीज़ें मुझे इतनी अच्छी डील मिली है क्राफ्ट विला पे आई मीन ये ड्रेस सेमी स्टिच था सो मैं अपने साइज में फिट करवा सकी हूँ एंड झुमकों के साथ एवरी थिंग प्रॉपर डील मिली है यू नो यू शुड डेफिनेटली शॉप ऑन क्राफ्ट विला बट बाई द वे मुझे तो अच्छी डील मिली है तुम्हारा ड्रेस बहुत एक्सपेंसिव लग रहा है मेरा ड्रेस ओ नो जब तुम इसका प्राइस सुनोगी ना यूल बी शॉक इट्स अट ओ माई गॉड सीरियसली अब आप भी लग सकते हैं हमारी तरह स्टाइलिश स्मार्ट शॉपिंग करके क्राफ्ट पे